The story of the film experiment begins with two images of elephants. With the written statement natural selection. Then, some insects, including aquatic habitats animals, assault one another. Then the animal-like aggression of human beings as death. And destruction and violent acts are shown on the other humans. Then a character named Travis comes on the scene. He is an anti-war protester. The next scene starts in the public where the public is slogging. And the banners of written statements as no more coffins and peace are caught. Travis is also in the procession and talking with a man. The court banner of Travis has a written phrase on it as bring them home. Meanwhile, a girl is pushed by someone who is there and she is fallen down. Travis is got angry noticing it. And he starts punching that man. And police cover the matter coming there. That girl asks Travis, are you alright? Afterward, they are befriended. The conversation begins as she tells him, she is going to India. In the next scene, Travis is reading a newspaper sitting in his room. He sees an advertisement. Where some subjects are required for behavioral experiment. Its duration is two weeks. And there is a need of staff, the salary is $1,000 per day. Travis goes for interview and encounters a man named Beris who sits next to him. Travis calls him, smart man while looking at him. And that smart man says to him, we are strangers. A primary scientist arranges a meeting with the candidates after a time. He says we are going to conduct a behavioral experiment. For it, we need to arrange a short series test it. He wishes to clear it ahead of time because these items will be provided to you in a secure environment. It will be an actual experiment. Some of the subjects will be deprived of their civil rights. Then he says, let's start the test. Different questions are posed to Travis and the other members. As a word, violence is uttered before Travis. And he says, no. Afterward, the word religion is uttered before him. He again says, no. Scientist says on it, it is a broad area. The more questions are also asked from Beris and Travis in the same way. And Travis is seated in a place. Where a screen is fixed which plays the scenes of violence. After that, spending time with her friend. Travis again reaches the same place. He also meets Beris there. He says to him after meeting, nice to meet you. Most people among them are anxious and jobless. And they agree with it. The primary scientist tells them. There are experiments in the coming two weeks for all of you. He more says I will take back civil rights from all of you. You have the last chance if you want to quit. Then the complete staff nod looking at one another. Then the leader says, good. He says, your safety will be our first priority. The experiment will be terminated if any violence on your part occurs. Then leader calls attendance of everyone and the mentioned person is stood. Making another group while sitting people are asked to follow another cue. In the same way, scientist leaves saying, good luck gentlemen. Beris's team is instructed. Beris's team is of guards while Travis's team is of prisoners. Travis's team is told, there are five crucial rules for the prisoners. They are informed about the rules. As prisoners are only limited to the designated area. Then it is told, they will be served three times food. And they are responsible to clean their plates after eating. The time duration of 30 minutes will be for their recreation. In which they can take a break. Otherwise, more rules are also told with a warning. As that candidate will be punished if he breaks any rule. It is also told, this experiment is not only relevant to individuals. It will be imposed on the whole group in case of breaking the rule by an individual. If disciplinary action is not taken within 30 minutes. Against the group members, the red light will be switched on. An experiment will be terminated. Then the scientist says, now I will see you in two weeks. Then a group member of Beris says, Put on the clothes according to your allocated numbers. And the given cell assignment will be stuck with their cells. Then everyone moves to his allocated cell. Travis observes the fixed cameras there. 
Travis's prisoner mates are Nix and Benji. The next time, recreational time of playing basketball arrives. Now prisoners are playing basketball. A prisoner hits the basketball to the guard while playing it. Because of the basketball hit, the guard's lips begin to bleed. But the guard cannot react according to the rules. He says to him, we can take the disciplinary action within 30 minutes. His fellows refuse to take action when he talks with them. Then guard's group member punishes that prisoner who has hit the guard saying to have 10 push-ups. All prisoners are also asked to do the same, all have 10 push-ups. Guard's room has the camera screens. Which makes the possibility to keep an eye on the activities of the prisoners. Otherwise, prisoners are served food by the guards. Because it is the second day now. A food item is not liked by one prisoner. But the food plate's cleanliness is necessary according to the rule. Travis does also not clean the plates with some of his prisoners. He turns his plate down on the hand of the guard when he forces him. He says, looks. I have cleaned the plate. Guard leader says loudly, they will have to exercise more push-ups. A prisoner throws a food item on the face of the guard. And he says, look. I have exercised push-up. Then the same guard throws food on them. As a result, all prisoners begin to throw all things on them. And guards flee from there. And prisoners shout, it is our home. They are excited. In the next scene, all guards are talking about the rules. Afterward, Beres plans that we will have to humiliate all prisoners. Because they acted as such. He sprays the fire extinguisher in the cell of prisoners after saying it. Then Beres locks Travis with the prisoner's door using handcuffs. In order to take revenge on him. Beres says to Travis in his said words, shut up. Then he says it loudly. Such incidents should not be happened again after explaining them to all. Then he says loudly, everyone has got it. All reply, yes sir. Then going in front of the mirror, Beres smiles. On the other side, Travis is upset and in an angry mood. He hears his prisoner mate's voice. He says my blood sugar has dropped too low. Guards ask him to keep quiet when he tells his problem to them. Beres addresses all prisoners on the third day of trial. He says now 11 days have remained. We should act as such as everyone may return to his home happily. Then he asks where is the poisoner number 61? Going inside with the other guard. Beres finds that prisoner in an ailment. His manner is Benji who is lied down on his bed. Beres asks him to stand up. But Travis reveals about his ailment favoring him. But the guard does not convince and says, rules are rules. Travis says experiments will be terminated in case of harming one another. The defender then orders all of us to come back to our cells. And all of the prisoners are put in jail. Travis, who became a prisoner begins to feel good concerning his friend. He also interacts with his fellow inmate. Guards on the other side, are talking. On how the experiment will be aborted if someone is badly hurt, and people will also not be paid. So it is better to resolve it using another technique. In the same way, Beres thinks of a second plan. As he frees Travis from the cell at night time in order to take revenge from him. Then he makes him bound with a chair taking him to a place. After that, he shaves his head with a shaving machine while taking revenge from him. Travis is fallen away when he hits his chair forcefully. Travis is dishonored too much. He remains silent coming into his cell when he is asked about this happening. Benji is neither treated even nor served food who was ill. Because he was unable to leave his bed. Hiding a bread stealthily. Travis serves him to eat after coming there. One member of the guard comes for the help of Travis at night who was unable to face injustice. Travis requests him to bring a syringe and insulin from Benji's bag. He will give him cash if he so desires, but the guard declines. He goes to that room secretly where the bags are placed. After searching Benji's bag, he comes out taking insulin and a syringe. Contrarily, Travis after watching everything through cameras. 
Barris reaches to that guard immediately who is helping. He discovers everything from him while threatening him who asked him to do it. And he reveals everything. Travis himself goes to the cell taking insulin and syringe and puts on Benji's bed. He stares at Travis. Travis is brought to Barris's leader in the next scene. Then Travis is ordered to clean the toilet because of his violation. Travis rejects it. Then Travis is forced to say, I am a prisoner. Travis does not follow it and says, go to hell. Travis's face is dipped into the toilet as a punishment. And the toilet is flushed. In spite of this mistreatment, Travis says to Beris, go to hell. In the end, Travis accepts his defeat and says, I am a prisoner. In the next scene, Travis is shown crying and in a helpless condition. Everything is being captured by the camera. On the opposite side, Beris wakes that guard at night who has tried to help Travis. Taking him in another room, he is being put under cruelty. This guard is brought before the prisoner on the fifth day. His face is wounded and blood stained when his face is uncovered. Beris names him Poisoner Number 76. Travis is hearing everything and throws his shirt on the ground after taking it off. And imitating Travis, all prisoners throw their shirts down. After a while, Travis moves towards the camera and falls down. Beris violates showing his brutality. While Benji hits him losing his control. Turning back, Beris hits Benji. Consequently, Benji begins afflicting, falling down, and also wounded. Now Benji is motionless lying on the ground. Travis is locked into an isolated iron box that has a fixed camera inside it. Now, guards are confused while Beris continues to show his brutality. He says, no one will know about it. On the sixth day, Travis continues his laughter locked in the iron box. He also pretends to others as he is in normal condition. He does not lose his hope. And finally gets success to open the iron box using his bracelet and released. He also frees the other prisoners coming outside. And continues his efforts to attack the guards. A prisoner hands Travis over an iron stick after his arrival to attack the other guards. Guards are frightened seeing the camera's screen. Because they come to know as prisoners are freed now. One of the guards asks, what should we do? Holding a stick Beris says, we should be ready. All prisoners are beating the glass door violently. Afterward, the door is opened. All guards escape saving their lives while Beris is after them. Prisoners are running after them madly as they will take their lives. The shutter is not open to move outside by the guards. Meanwhile, the prisoners attack them. Beris stabs Travis but he holds a knife. While Beris loses his hand grip in fear. After it, Beris violently beats Travis and other prisoners are attacking other guards. At the same time, the red light is switched on. It means that the experiment has been terminated according to the rule. Now the outside is visible as the building door is unlocked. The chirping of birds is heard and bright daylight is visible after many days. All begin to walk in wounded condition and sit on the ground dejectedly. Then the same bus arrives which had dropped them here. All get seats there, wearing their dresses. Beris, who was seated on the bus have a $14,000 check in his hand. But he is upset and he looks at Travis. Everybody who took part in the experiment was recompensed. The news that it was psychological testing was also aired by the media. And all of the experiments have been validated. Travis is now moving to India. Travis is sitting near a lake, trying to watch a woman rinse her child's face with water. After some time, Travis' friend comes to the backside. He smiles peacefully and both are united.